All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over quenching your 4140 steel uh, for, as part of this MSD 407 uh, lab. So um, at first, I'm just gonna give you a preview and then we will show you the actual quench, quenching process. Um, so all of the same safety equipment that we had for the previous heat treatment, the austenization, you're gonna wanna have. Um, we're gonna use the samples uh, we're going to treat the quench the, the samples from the austenitizing furnace and so our samples are in there right now um, and then we're going to quench or rapidly cool them uh, to room temperature in uh, a quenching oil and so we've got the quenching oil in a, a bucket down here with a lid on it right now but if we open it up we'll see that we have our quenching oil and we actually have a basket that we can lift up with our samples. So that's what we're gonna do. So we have the same safety equipment um, that we have uh, for other heat treatments, uh, our gloves, our face shield, our tongs. Uh, we're gonna take our samples out of the austenitizing furnace, which again, keep in mind this is at 850, so very high temperature. And then we're gonna be bringing it down uh, to the quench oil. And so uh, there's a very hot piece of steel and then we're gonna place it in the oil. So atop all of the safety uh, concerns that we have for very high temperatures, we also have a hot piece in um, quench oil. And so we have to worry about splashing and so forth there. So that's just extra pre precaution, but we should have with our face shield and the apron and everything enough to uh, have in case anything happens. But we also have the lid down here for the, the quench oil. Uh, all right, so uh, so in the next part, we'll get set up. Uh, I'll show you uh, us taking out the uh, steel uh, tensile samples from the furnace, from the osmotizing furnace. Uh, note the temperature by the color that comes off, um, and then we're going to quickly place it in the quench oil, and I'll show you as it's cooling down in the quench oil. So we'll get a shot of the oil there. So uh, stay tuned, we'll get reset up, and then you'll see the um, quenching process from 850 uh, austenitized furnace. be able to tell uh, when it stopped cooling you could actually see the density changes uh, in the oil uh, come off from the very hot uh, bar and so when those stop the samples cool so wait till that and then uh, once you're done uh, once it's cool what we can do is we can lift up on the basket and bring this up so they won't have to stick our hand in the oil and then we can reach in and we can have a, with just a, a nitro glove or a paper towel, we can go and fish out our samples. And since they're covered in oil, uh, like you see here, we're gonna take them over to the sink and just rinse them off real quick uh, until we get to the next step. So we're gonna go ahead and take them over and get them rinsed off. We are over here at the sink. 
with our samples. So these are our quenched samples. You can see that there's still a little bit of oil. You can also see if you just rub, you can see all of this scale that comes off. And so what we'll do is we'll just use some uh, soap and water and we'll try to get as much of this scale off as possible. And then we'll be ready uh, to either use them as is um, or do an additional heat treatment as required by your experiment. So I'll go ahead and, uh, and wash these off real quick and then I'll show you them. All right, so I've rinsed them off with uh, soap and water, and you can see that they're still darkened uh, because there is oxide um, on there, uh, but all of that very loose scale um, has been removed. And so at this point, we're ready to either uh, move these on to uh, scale, uh, scale removal, and there's a video for that, um, if we're gonna use them as is, um, or if we're gonna temper them for the quenched and tempered group, uh, then we will want to put these back in the furnace at the given temperatures. So we're all ready uh, after we dry these off to go on to the next step and, and do what else we need to do with these uh, samples.